We all know Sanji has been a disappointment since the time skip, and yes, the debate goes on about Zoro versus Sanji. I'll bet one here from my left pinky toe that Zoro fanboy124 and King of Lightning are probably on the phone eating popcorn while rewatching Thriller Bark and drinking sake, still arguing about this exact topic. <sighs> but I digress. This is about Sanji. Zoro seemingly has transcended and has only broken a sweat to an admiral post time skip. He's made light work of the main antagonist of an arc while Sanji was made light of in another. Now in no way, shape, or form is Hody Jones on the level of Doflamingo. I'll repeat, Hody Jones is in no way, shape, or form on the level of Doflamingo, but there is a consistent theme here. Oda fucking hates Sanji. No seriously though, it's time for Sanji to live up to the standards that we know he can surpass. He is probably the most charismatic character in the series and watching Sanji fight is a marvel. Yambu Jambe is a destructive move in which Sanji heats up his leg adding extreme heat to the impact of his kicks. The devil that is Sanji has even evolved past that and can now blue walk and skywalk. Yet and still, there has to be more. What is he hiding? What well, we now know of Sanji's lineage, the Germa 66. Sanji has the history of being an assassin. For Sanji to become the monster that I foresee, he must accept who he is. Assassins are skilled with any weapon normally, but blades are their forte since it is quick and clean. You can coat them with poison and they can even be retractable. Sanji's next step would be to wielding knives that would be able to extend if need be and he would also be able to coat them in fire. Now Sanji did promise to only use his hands to cook for his friends but we predict Sanji's future matchup to be Kizaru and he is very skilled with the sword so it would make a lot of sense. Let me know what you think of the devil's assassin and don't forget to like and subscribe.